most students seem to find Lopetau's rule fairly straightforward. The trick of problem 12, although I don't think of it as a trick, is that you can only use L'Hopital's rule to compute to one of these limits. For 12b, as x goes to zero, the numerator is going to infinity. The denominator is going to zero. This is not indeterminate. This just tells you that the entire fraction is going to infinity. The numerator getting big makes a fraction go to infinity. The denominator getting small makes a fraction go to infinity. Put them together, both of these things are making the fraction go to infinity. It's only 12a, whereas x where as x goes to zero, the numerator and the denominator both approach zero that we have an indeterminate form and L'Hopital's rule is appropriate. So the derivative of the numerator, well, the derivative of the cosine is the negative sign, but there's also a negative in front of it. So that's the positive sign. The derivative of x squared is 2x. This is still indeterminate. The sign is continuous. You can take the limit of the sign just by plugging zero in there. You get zero. Likewise, 2x is continuous. This is indeterminate then, and you can try L'Hopital's rule again. It's possible that you just keep trying L'Hopital's rule and it never helps, but here we have met with success. The cosine is continuous. So as X goes to zero, this is just going to the cosine of zero, which is one. And of course, a constant function is continuous. Two goes to two. So there's your limit.